Hello and welcome to episode 17 of Half Moon Bay. And hello, comrade. So we've got this initial highway going up here. We're going to need connections into here. And people are going to live down here. And I think what we're going to do is make it progressively more high wealth as we get closer to the top. At least that's the plan. So let's do this then. Hey, Z-Man Wallace, good to see you. Let's buy, oh, we already are buying stuff. Okay. <coughs> Oh no, and it just froze on me. Okay, two seconds, we'll restart this. That's not good. I wonder why it decided to freeze on me all of a sudden. Everything was working just fine. It's okay, we'll get back going again here. Luckily, it doesn't take too long. <clears throat> so what I was going to say is we're going to need a cross um, crossroad of some sort there to enable us to have people underneath. There we go. So we're going to need something to come across. I don't know, and I'm thinking right across the bend would be kind of neat. Um, and people can live in there then, and then, then we can kind of curve the end down here. And where, where's our boundary? Yeah. So we can come in here and like curve the end into here. And then I don't know, have something else up here. I'm, I'm not really sure what to do with the plateau areas. But we'll, we'll figure that out. So let's see, if we want to have two lane freeway, ground level, if I want it coming straight across, we could do something like this. could also do something like this, and that could be neat. That could be very cool. I'm also thinking, what if we ran it parallel? Or close to it? Something like in there. Hello, Magnus. Because we could do some sort of interesting type of interchange in there. I think though, I think I like going diagonally through the middle, the middle the best. Something kind of like this. Yeah, something like that. So let's figure it out to here. Hey, ProLogix. Yeah, this is a slightly new area. It's the one that we used for a temporary area before. And I'm just uh, actually building it up for realsies. And transition. We 
There we go. So that's a start. And then, how do we want to do the transitions up and down? Should we do a similar trumpety style interchange as the last time? That is the question. Because it would be cool to just... Alright, let's start from the bottom here. And we're going to do this with one lane ramps. Here we are. Well, thank you, Prologix. We're just starting out, so hopefully they remain as good. <laughs> and I think the f one lane freeway ramps... Oh, no, they, they won't go underneath. Okay. Right hand is easy, because they're just going to take it right, but left hand, we need this to go up, over the top, and come in. So let's do, let's do this here then. Elevated, oh, of course it doesn't give me the guidelines. There we go. Right about to there, or maybe even a little farther, where the turn starts. And then we'll have to figure out where this one goes. Right about there. And then curve it. Weird. Okay, let's try this again. Ah, I see. I was getting too close to the actual road. See, that curves out too much. We could do something like that, though. And then, sh no, that, that's not good enough either. just need it to go the direction I want it to go. <laughs> I 
and not connect up there. Okay. I will get this thing the right length here. That stays pretty close. If we can get this to actually go the way we're trying to go. It's almost there. Now it just needs to not be weird. All right, it's only, it's only a little bit weird. I'm not really sure why it's being like that either. There we go. Close enough. Now the curve around this side should be <clears throat> a little bit easier. Because I can see it a little bit better. a little bit too much. There we go. That's what we want. So then... Let's figure it out from the top down. So if I'm going this way and I want to get over here, I should 
loop down. Yeah. So from here, we make, we start with a loop to transition to the ground. <clears throat> Should end somewhere right in there. And these ones aren't gonna be exactly the same. They're just gonna look nice though. There we go. And then we should be able to make this transition connect nicely. Hey, that actually came out right the first time. Good. So in order to make this look nice, let's do the same from this side. make this one a little bit bigger. It's all nice smooth slopes. Um, let's fix that. There we go. Oh, no problem, Comrade Bear. The, the objective here is to use the unidirectional road network and the L-Train mods to end the subway mods to build really cool looking cities in this, um, this uh, Edgewater Bay region, which I renamed Half Moon Bay because it sounded cooler. That's all the objective there is. Oh, and let's speed up time so let's get back to daylight. Didn't, I didn't realize I had time running. So the next objective for what we're doing right now, though, is to make the left-hand turns here. And I'd like them to go something like this. I think that should work. And then we should be able to get back to the right height right there. But I'm gonna need to mess with this and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to remake it. I'm gonna have to going to have to redraw this. I need to make sure it comes in at a much straighter angle. <laughs> and 
And that almost means I'm gonna have to start the start the descent, if you will. Um, like out of the like right on top of this one. I just need to find the right end point. Maybe there. And that's, yeah, it curved in way too much. All right. We'll get this going here. That's actually pretty decent of an angle. And I'm pretty sure we can make it then come down to here in a way that looks relatively decent. All right. Good job, team. <laughs> Then this one. I look really cool to start the descent in the loop and go under it. Um, I, I, I would love to, but you can't. Uh, it actually, there's not enough room in there. I've totally tried it to, to have different levels going through uh, and, and it just doesn't fit. Would love to, but new. Let's go to here. There we go. That ascent looks fairly natural. Yeah, my, my thoughts exactly, comrade. Uh, I, I tried it before because I was like, oh, yeah, that'd be cool. It's worth a shot. Yeah. I got shot down on that. All right. Now, this one, we want to go this way. Actually, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then we just need to connect this in. And figure out this side. Oh yeah, it's uh, yeah. The ascent on this is is not, not for the faint of heart. Ah, it's got dark. Not for the faint of heart from normally. So this we need a straight one. <laughs> exactly, comrade. <laughs> Luckily, it's only the Sims that have to do this. And then from there to there. Looks okay. There. Beautiful. So 
So that's all the left hand turns worked out. Now we need right hand turns. Road grade two, what do you mean road? I'm talking about road grade two steep. Oh, because there's that hill. I forget about those. <clears throat> it doesn't know how to negotiate the hill correctly. So we end up having to do this from like way out here. Maybe not even then. Wow. <laughs> wow, you gotta be kidding me. It's barely even, it's like not even touching it. And of course it doesn't care if I raise it. I could swear that we did this. Oh, see, we must have done something like this the last time. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Can't figure out a good way to make this work. Still wants to go over that. Man, it's, it's almost like any curve that I try to make out of this. Unless I do a much shallower curve. <laughs> I don't want it quite that shallow. Just a lot of trial and error. More error than trial. We nearly left ourselves with no light either. So busy with this, I forgot that we were waiting for time. Oh, so close. <laughs> I 
There we go. That looks like the winner for now. And we'll get this corner going better. There we go. We'll also do that with this side. Now this one, I think, oops. Oh no, it's all messed up, huh? So this one, what we should really do is a straight one. Something like that. I don't think that's actually going to work the way I want it to, though. What happens if I take this part out and redo it? That part is still like it's sunken in a little bit or something. Oh, okay, hang on, there's a little spot there. So maybe. Interesting. I gotta find the, the right, just the right spot here. If we do that, should let me just do this. And that. There's just a little, there's a little bit of a bump here, but I I would rather that than take up more room that I was going to take up. So we've got the right hand turns done there. 
Now we just need right hand turns for here. And it would be really cool if I can get this all to kind of just work. Oops. Something like that. Hey, that does work pretty nice. Let's see if we can do it over here. All right. We've got our basic connections in place. Now let's connect it to the highway. This one only needs to come into here. Oops. There we go. connect the exits over here. And the entrance over here. upper ones. Hmm, that didn't join in correctly. That's a little better. Not a ton, but it's a little better. This one can come all the way up to here. And then over here, we'll end it right after this one. And the entrance for this one will be right here. Cool. <clears throat> so we have a little bit of a freeway system here now. Now the end of this one... <clears throat> I would like to put into a four lane road. Just a regular road. Um, two lane freeway, street road. It looks to be pretty close to the same. It's actually not quite.
That's the same. Yeah. And that is going to transition into one of these. two lane ramps I don't like that angle though we'll bring it closer look very good though I suppose that'll work and look okay. And then we just need to take the road from down here. And bring it up along the edge here. And then we simply make corners out of this road. Oops, not this one. Try drawing it from this side though. There we go. Since that curve's not really like perfect or anything, we'll do the best we can with it. this corner more round. There we go. So it's a smooth curve down here to these things. Okay. And then I guess we need to do something with how people are going to get off of this lower one and into town. So coming off of it here, we can have well, basically, I guess we can do this instead. Have a two-lane exit. Two-lane freeway ramp. Yeah, let's do this. Have it exit over here. Yeah, 
into another road. And then this one will have to have an entrance from that other road. do something like this transition uh, this one oh too steep really maybe we can go into that Yeah, I think that'll actually work pretty well because then we can have, we'll make an avenue that kind of wraps around this half of the city. Something like... Something like that, and then in here, maybe curving around somewhere else, not intersect the road. I'm not sure what, oh, because it's on the ground there, down there. So maybe what we actually do that would be cooler is to make this go through the mountain here. So we kind of have this big avenue that goes all the way around. That could work, actually. And then we could even continue it. Back to here. Make almost a big a circle avenue. Yeah, that could be cool. So let's take this end and curve it a little more. Oops, we did want that. And we want it to be right about here. Yeah, something like that. Because it then is going to go transition up to here. And then this one, which can actually stay on the ground. Oh, don't tell me you're going to create some wacky intersection. Okay. So let's do this then. To 
Cuisine. Ground ramp. There. That way we don't have some dopey intersection at the end there. Now this part's going to be harder. <clears throat> because people from here can obviously just exit right here. And that's, that's what I'm going to have them do. Oops. Come on. And then coming from the other way, though, so that's coming from that way. Coming from this way, we need to go over the top and down in. Which is much, much harder. actually don't know if I'm going to be able to do it the way that I want to. Yeah, see, how do we... Maybe I can do it with this one. That would work. Can we bring it in just a little bit more? That would work perfectly. And then that joins in with that one. Good. Then we can join this from over here in like that. This one, let's see, this one. be a join like that so we use the same spot and then it also needs to go out over and in so let's see what we can do with that See, this is going to need to be right about here. And 
and then it'll transition down. If I can make it work, I would like it to transition down into there. But I don't think it will. too sharp of a corner. So let's try again. There we go. Transition down. Doesn't like to do it up against that cliff. It's too bad the elevated doesn't know how to make tunnels like that. Because... What I'm going to do here is this. Yeah, because this doesn't know how to make tunnels either. Okay then, this out some. So I would like this to come somewhere over here and come out right over here. So that part works fine. Then we just need this part to work. Get the curve going on a little bit better there. There we go. And then this one. It's a little bit of a harsh turn, but they'll get in there. There, some fun with tunnels. So, we'll call that the end of this episode. We've got a decent blueprint started here. We Obviously, we'll build on some more stuff. So, I hope you've enjoyed for now. Um, you can always watch me on Twitch, uh, at, if you want to watch live, at twitch.tv slash tinvec. And if you want to watch my stuff afterwards, I always put it up on YouTube, at youtube.com slash tinvec. I also have a website, tinvec.com, and everything is there as well. So, Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.